Another week, another reunion in the swamp as a former Bubby comes to town once again as Playmore is taking on the New York Noibats, coached by Galvanate. Tyler, last week did not go well, but thankfully, uh, Bubby was not brought to the battle. If we see Bubby brought to this battle and we lose another battle, I don't know if my heart can take it. Saying last week didn't go well is like saying my birthday is just another day. It's the understatement of the century. The good news is I'm back in my usual attire, as I mm. said I would be because of the disaster that was last week. If you haven't seen mm. it, don't go watch it. <laughs> but, um, John, I'm kind of mm -hmm. wondering, what what are you wearing? What are you talking about, dude? I, I am dressed for success. This is a big week. We are bringing our Bubby for the first time this season. Bubby versus Bubby. If you haven't seen the team already, you haven't seen the team builder, you can go check that out. But the set's on screen right now. They look superb. I need to get into this battle, Tyler. Let's get into it. Moment of truth, Tyler. Did they bring Bubby? I need to know. I need to know. And they did bring Bubby. We see the Cyclozar and Mudsdale. Not a Bubby, but just, you know, I I, I love Mudsdale. I've I, asked we both Ben love to draft Mudsdale it. a lot, yeah. Three seasons I've asked for Mudsdale <laughs> to be on the team. If we lose to it, well, I see, if we beat Mudsdale easily, Ben's going to bring it up again. We'll never, ever draft it. If we yeah. lose to it... We're not going to draft it ever because he's upset. It, there's no winning. I'm against the, the ponies for now. If Wolfie is listening, I'm sorry. <laughs> but uh, we actually don't know what Ben wants to lead with. He talked a bit about Primarina. We don't see that on the opponent's side, which is kind of interesting. We don't see Tentacruel either. You know, both of those Pokemon, like Primarina does have coverage for Tentacruel. Tentacruel is like a really good Pokemon to switch in against it. I kind of expected to see both of them back and forth. Don't see it at all, and instead, we can lead off with uh, the Sneaky Snake and probably just get a glare off immediately, which is fantastic, because there's no Trevenant. Uh, yeah, Ben's better than me, because I 100% would have led off with the Choice Banded 165 Attack Rampardos. Yep. Uh, I, I love our Bubby here. I, I love in, yeah. in the War of the Bubbies. Now, I don't like to see Bubby Warfare. But in this case, I like ours. Hey, and speaking of Bubby, the sponsor of this team is always a Play More. And if you go to play-more.store, we have a brand new merch drop for this season. An incredible new shirt and an incredible new sweatshirt. We got more Bubby plushies and the old shirt. If you want to grab something, go get them while you can. But for now, chest beard. I mean, a lot of beards and end up on someone's chest, but I, I, I guess I see what he's saying here with a air balloon, which is kind of interesting here. Now, oh, I thought you saw saw what he was saying because the beard kind of looks like it's puffing out from from the chest. I, uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, yeah, I'm moving past it. I, okay, I, well. I kind of get it. But uh, this is actually a fantastic lead for us. You know, Trevenant was the number one thing that the opponent could switch in on the superior. Now we can just kind of mess with most of the team. We're not going to be able to offensively take Cobalion down, but slowing this thing down and causing it to get para turn one is just phenomenal. So I love this as Ben is going to really damage his friendship with the opponent, go for a sub and ruin his day. Tyler, you love a good start to a battle. We talk about it often. Oh, How are you feeling I right do. now? I, well, and we've already seen something that I've got a feeling we're going to see very often in this battle, mm. and that is paralysis. Half of this team has paralysis capabilities on it, and yep. I've got a feeling that Ben is going to utilize it a lot, which is fascinating to me because we're already faster mm. than this team on paper. You slow yep. them down even more, and that choice banded Bubby's looking good. Joy's Man and Bubby is looking really good, but Cobalion is going to be a thorn in its side. I don't know if we need to get rid of this thing for Choice Banded Bubby to do the old Choice Banded Bubby thing, but weakening this is going to be very important, and we're not really going to have a great chance to weaken it with the Superior. Now, the Leech Seed here uh, could be really nice, especially with a Switch. Okay. Hey, hey, he's cooking. It, Mr. Goop. Okay, I don't that, know that if I... See that, what? What's up yeah, with I don't you? know I mean, if I, I love that. I think the that. names are pretty good. He's he's goopy. He's a goopy I, guy. It, yeah, but I don't. I'm not happy to deal with Mr. Goop. You don't send Mr. Goop out, and I'm not. I'm not saying like hello. I'm not doing hey, any Mr. of that. Go I was. What's up, Mr. Goop? 
Goop Hi, man. Hey. Goop guy. This is our this is our most serious battle. You gotta lock in, Mister. Okay. <laughs> you gotta lock in. Oh, we get to see Altaria now. This is exciting. This is exciting. It's something that we completely forgot to mention because we are very professional and on top of our game. We did actually get and rid of Avalog. And we know what sticky webs do. Yeah, and body press. All of them. <laughs> we did get rid of Avalog and replaced it with Altaria, giving us an immunity to ground, giving us that dragon coverage, which is fantastic. A big thing that Ben said is we're gonna have Altaria. We have the Rocky Helmet. We wanna be able to bring it in on the muck, which is really nice. We're already seeing that happen in the battle, which is fantastic. I really, really like seeing the Altaria in this battle. I feel like it's gonna be a really solid pivot for Ben. Uh, Mr. Goop over here is not looking too good early into this battle, which I really like. Uh, uh, being serious about the Goopmeister over there. I, okay, I'm kind of sick of Mr. Goop, I'll be honest, but uh, it's on. a very frustrating Pokemon to go against. A any sort of muck variant, whether it's a Lolan or regular, they are so difficult to get rid of. They sponge hits, they're a really good pivot. They have better offenses than you would expect. So being able to get this damage off early in the game is really, really nice for us. Yeah, uh, Altaria is very well known, uh, mostly mm. because of Gen 3 for running Earthquake. So it just feels kind of right that it's using it here. But the other big yeah. thing, and it's why Ben wanted this matchup, was that because of Natural Cure, poisoning the Altaria does nothing. It Ooh. is a great pivot, and this was a great switch for us, but uh, Air Balloon. Uh, yeah, air and we balloon. noticed the Air Balloon early on. Yeah, that was the explanation <sighs> for the chest beard. It was, yeah. You know, I, I do really like that bring on the opponent's side, but it's really easy now that it's para just to go for the Brave Bird yeah. here. I I don't know. I mean, you bring in the Kobalion for a reason. You're going to stay in, but just being able to pop the Air Balloon here... I, just seems so easy. Here, I don't here. know. Here. Yeah. Well, and this, with the Stealth Rocks, this is our Defogger. So I really, yeah. I, I don't fully understand what the opponent is doing here. Like it made sense to bring it in to avoid the Earthquake, but then what? We're gonna outspeed, we Defog. <laughs> and I mean, with the Chest Beard over here, I, the more we can weaken it, the better. The Volt Switch, I mean, it. I don't know. I, I really feel like we won that uh, that oh, back I, and I forth. I agree. To get, to get rid of the air balloon is huge. And I don't really know where Nate goes here. <laughs> uh, yeah, sorry. I was just uh, just adjusting my earbuds. These, uh, these <laughs> frog hands are not fantastic. <laughs> uh, ooh. Now, this is something to be uh, worried about. We know it's not running boxy. <laughs> 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 yeah, we, we, we know that. It's not that. Moxie Pyroar. <laughs> Dang it. Pyroar is a scary Pokemon. This thing could absolutely do a lot of damage to the team. It is something that could set up. Obviously, last week for Alligator really hurt a lot of feelings. So seeing a Pokemon brought in like this, it freaks me out a bit. I do love having Porygon 2 on the team. It's such a reliable Pokemon. We can soak up so many hits. Uh, being able to Thunder Wave this thing is great. I don't really expect to see a substitute on the Pyroar. So I, I just feel like this is a good, a good thing to try to neutralize early into the game. As Pyroar is a problem, Tyler. Especially if he is going to Terra up and just bolster a stab. Yeah, the thing with Pyroar is it's normally not thought of as a strong Pokemon. But in this lower mm. tier draft league, when you're up near 110 special attack, over 105 speed... Those are good enough. We were worried about throat spray on this thing. If it tears up, it hyper voices, and it's got the throat spray to boost that special attack, then it's an even bigger issue. Ooh. But with the fire terror, we'll see what it goes for, because a lot of what this threat is does depend on the item. Yeah, it, absolutely. But we see Yawn Pyroar, which is not something I expected, but I do feel a little bit better about this yeah. now. Not having Tentacruel is a little unfortunate. I thought he was going to stay in for a second. But I think at this point, yeah, it's got to be Altaria. I mean, it's not ideal. We might be losing Altaria early into the battle, but... We're not that worried about that. No, I I, I feel like this is just the, the right thing to do in the spot. Obviously, Altaria, I just had to make sure it was physically defensive this week. But Pyroar is going to be a bit of an issue, and... Uh, oh! Overheat actually helps out a ton here. As yet, yeah, we can take another one. 
And actually, interesting, what are they going to... Sw oh, they could switch into Mudsdale, actually. It's... <laughs> but it doesn't matter because we have Roost. Yeah, now we Roost. Well, it, they stay in and yawn. Interesting. I mean, you can let Altari go to sleep, and when you switch out, we have Natural Cure, which is actually fantastic. I... Very puzzled by that play, as we can go for a free Earthquake into a switch. Now, the only issue here could be if they're trying to bait the Earthquake, bring in the Mudsdale to get the defense up. But even then, I'm sure we can bring in Superior and deal with that pretty easily. So I am curious of the Yawn play there, as it just allows us to get some extra damage on Mudsdale. You called all that pretty well, partner. It's like, it's <laughs> like you were a competitive battler for like once upon a time for like years at well, a time. once upon a and time like, yeah like the world champion like he might have called you his rival or something i, I don't know it might be far-fetched but I'm hey just man throwing it out there hey man uh, this this guy I, hey i don't know now <laughs> did did i retire at a point and do i mess up things uh, that popped up after those generations <laughs> like body press and other shenanigans <laughs> maybe but that's not important right now because my pal Mudsdale is in. And uh, this is Mudsdale. a really, it's a really powerful Pokemon, Tyler. It's got yes. a fantastic attack. It's so easy to bring this thing in. Sponge hits. I This is the this is the best play for us, but I am a little worried of taking some big damage. But Superior, a pretty bulky guy. And uh, Tyler, I do not know what the opponent is going to do about Superior. Because if Ben predicts a switch, goes for the substitute, and they bring in Cobalion again, I mean, we are leech seeding and just absolutely frustrating everything in existence. Or we could just spam the glare button. There's a lot of annoying things we could do here. Go for a leaf storm just to be cheeky. I mean, at this point, it's it's mean and fun. I love this superior set. Just how annoying it can be, while also still dealing so much damage which is, the, I mean, just the power of having contrary Leaf Storm in all these situations, but it does so much in this battle where even times like that where it's the obvious pivot, like I, I don't think there's a world where the opponent thinks we're bringing in anything there but Superior, and it still really didn't do that much damage, and with Leech Seed, you're able to get some of that back over time. Yep. I love this build on it, especially the way that Ben has it with a ton of HP investment even sprinkled in some defense, some speed for a good measure. I, mm. I love this bring to this battle to where here Superior is, after all that, right back at full health. And speaking of right back at full health, I mean, Altaria is pretty close to being there as well. The opponent really has not been able to make any progress no. of breaking through this team. And the only thing that I'm worried about, and I wouldn't be shocked if you're in the same spot, is when is Ben going to try to break through? Last time, not only did the opponent like hit first, but they were able to bring in their win con and really just obliterate the team. When are we going to bring in something to absolutely annihilate a Pokemon on the team? Rampardos, Bubby, we're waiting for you. We are waiting for you. If you're the opponent, what what's your switch? Outside of if you're hoping Ben tries to make a prediction here, yeah. Or do you go with the Mudsdale hit, just eat any hit play here? You, you can't switch in the Cobalion now just in case mm. it's an earthquake. I, I'd love to hear from you. What what do you see happening here? It's a, it's a really good question. At some point, the opponent is going to have to be able to break through. Old Bubby could make sense. Bernie said. It, oh, wait. The, okay. All right. Eat hot chip <laughs> and lie. <laughs> so, <laughs> sure, man. I, <laughs> There is the Bubby, and now here's the thing. We loved old Bubby when it was on the squad. It's got Regenerator, it's a really great pivot. This could be easy. Eat a hit, you turn out, try to gain a little momentum. We are switching into this. That's what I thought the opponent might do. It'll be interesting to see. Now it could also be a, a Draco Meteor. That was really the only offense our old Bubby was ever doing. Being able to switch in this, we're not worried about that in the slightest. Double Edge? Wow. I, I didn't. I didn't all see right. that coming at all. <laughs> huh. Interesting. I mean, it makes sense with Regenerator. Um, I don't think our, our coach was seeing that it, in any way, shape, or form. But it is technically more of a physical attacker than a, a special. It It is, but hey, Tyler, if we can get a Reflect up here, we can oh, really yeah. do some damage. Now, a, a well-timed Nuzzle could go crazy. Dazzling Gleam obviously could get a kill here. 
And we only have so much we can do at this point with the, the Hat Witch, right? Now, we have Healing Wish at some point, which would be great. I'm just like going for the Reflect. Let's, let's see. We got eight turns to deal with. Okay. We had eight turns. We get the, the Nuzzle off here. I'm just a little worried that... I don't know, that our opponent can bring in something that they're not worried about getting nuzzled. Let's not go into Mudsdale here. Yeah, I, Or we'll Copalion. See. Let's not go into those. Like literally not any of the other ones. I don't know what Ben was predicting. I mean, if it's something like Pyroar, he's looking like a genius, but it's Mudsdale. Yeah, we don't, Mudsdale. We don't love that one. No, I mean, he's not hes not showing his hand though, right? Yeah. If he wants to save, reflect later, I'm completely fine with this. Um, is there, a, wait, do we outspeed Mudsdale? I don't think we do. Yeah, no, this is the one Pokemon that is slower than Mudsdale. Okay, I had to make sure. Yeah, I i, I assume he just wanted to save the, the reflect, have that trick up his sleeve. The problem is I don't know when we're getting that reflect up now that it's so weakened. Um, but we do know we can deal with the Mudsdale. I'm not really worried about this thing. Mudsdale is a, fa Mudsdale is a fantastic Pokemon, but considering that Superior is the worst thing for our opponent to deal with, being able to bring that in whenever we want is fantastic. Oh, predicting the double! Okay, Mr. Ben! Wow! That is a fantastic read by the coach. Are you kidding me, Tyler? I, I, wow. Take it all back. We take it all back. That's our. We wow. take it all back. I, there really has not been that many predictions in this battle. To at that moment make a play that big is phenomenal. And is he predicting on his? I mean, I, at this point, I know he's. Oh my God! <laughs> this guy is on fire! <laughs> wow! I, I can't even keep up. This is fantastic. Back with a vengeance. He really is. Now he did tell us that the curse is very likely on the uh, Alolan muck. And I mean, it's just two really bold plays one after another. And they were just so perfect. Like so unbelievably perfect in the spot. Healing wish to make the most of this Pokemon. I mean, we're dealing with a madman here, Tyler. Just a madman. It's a madman or a master somewhere in between. I was bowing while you said that. So yeah, that that is phenomenal. One of the two. I, hey, I don't know what he's going to bring in with the healing wish. Now I I do understand why he went for the healing wish. Mister Goop doing whatever Mister Goop does is <laughs> really scary. So this is a nice way to bring in what we need to bring. It's odd. You usually like the healing wish to heal something up. That was the right thing to do. It feels wrong. Bobby. But this is the moment we've been waiting for. I, I, I got I got Bubby right here. I, it's, this, this is my friend. Oh my God, he's not gonna do it, is he? He's not gonna do it. Oh my oh, God. The play of the year. No. Do no. It. Click it, Ben. No. Click it. Against ah. the cursed up Mr. Goop. Okay, okay, he okay. Just, he was just okay. hovering over that to make us think. Okay. He, did, he, wanted, right. he wanted to get us excited. <laughs> Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, that make that makes sense. If that man had gone for focus punch 99 times out of 100, we lose the battle. But that one time, <laughs> that one time. Now this is still a little on. dicey because this is not 100 percent accurate. We need uh, you, you to you line him up, Bubby. You shut line your pretty up. mouth. Yeah. And you enjoy the head smash. Line him up. Let's go. Let's go. That is what we're talking about. That is satisfying. That is exhilarating. That is most of its health. That was a which lot is, of recoil. <laughs> which is why we had Healing Wish, right? To be able to heal this up after all the recoil, but to be able to... I mean, to make those plays in succession, I I don't really care what happens for the rest of the season I mean, outside I would of love, winning the championship. I, I would love to see a focus punch. I, I, I'm going to throw that in there. Like I think it'd be cool. I, it would be cool. I'm just saying those plays in succession were so fantastic. Just correct prediction after correct prediction. Every single one risky, but really put him in a fantastic spot. I mean, so much incredible situational awareness. After the Vraligator last time, that set up and really messed up the team. Being able to handle another set of Pokemon so skillfully. I, I, I just am really, really impressed. Even losing a Pokemon to make sure you bring in the right Mon. Now, obviously, 
Flamigo is here. One of the scariest Pokemon against our team. Maybe the scariest on the opponent's side. So, I, hey, we, we won a battle. The war is not <laughs> over. It's probably a, a dead bird. Wait. Do I not know how Healing Wish works? Wow. All right. That's also really bad on the other side. The, I, Tyler, we came into this battle with like one objective and it was to not be, mess be, up yeah, another yeah. mechanic. Be, be better. Dang it. <laughs> yeah, yep. it's, it's not great. We just gotta, we gotta roll it. I, I'm, I'm, I'm throwing it to you. It's, you gotta, you gotta take over for a second. Well, I'm scared. Okay, <laughs> because we just saw a sword stance on the other side. And yeah. like, Flamigo, I, I think uh, most of my knowledge comes from Wolfie VGC videos, to be honest. But it's a Whoa. Pokemon that you think of not being that strong because it's an early route Pokemon, but it's actually really good despite the fact that that did not do very much damage and now it's almost a dead bird. Yeah, no, that, R Rocky, wait, Rocky Helmet Flamigo? Rocky Helmet Sword Stance Flamingo? That's a set. Wow, okay, I didn't I didn't expect that at all. Well, the thing with Flamingo, right? Flamingo is a 90 speed Pokemon. We are going to be able to outspeed it and revenge it. So this is not something that I'm really worried is going to like, you know, this is not Halucha with like Unburden ruining my life. I'm pretty sure Halucha has Unburden. Oh gosh, why am I saying that? I think, I think, that's <laughs> I think, I think you're right, I think you're right. If you're Ooh, wrong, yeah, I'm cutting it out of the video. <laughs> I, we don't have to worry about it setting up and outspeeding and just sweeping our team. But it is interesting to see, while we still have a lot of Pokemon on our side that can take hits, the Swords Dance, with it clearly not being just the most offensive Flamigo, it does look like something that is going to obviously be able to break down our Altaria, which, I, I mean, obviously that's going to help our opponent. Altaria had been frustrating, but Flamigo is not long for this world. It should be very easy to revenge. And it does allow us to bring in Marco for the first time, which is pretty phenomenal. I would love, 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 love to see a mm. big end of this game for Marco. Mm. Because Ben was, ben was so high on this Blaziken pick. He, he said there was a yep. chance that we see this guy lead the league in kills. Yep. I would love for it to come in here and just start cleaning things up left and right. When it goes back to those fantastic plays from Ben, I mean, being able to get the re reflect up really, really, like it screwed over a lot of the plans the opponent had. You could have still kept those plans in your back pocket for when it was a little bit, you know, a, a little bit uh, more acceptable to be dancing with swords in public. But now, I, I mean, I think this is just a dead flamigo, and uh, we're looking pretty good again. It, we're not like the battle's not won yet. No. We have more Pokemon dead than the opponent, but I feel good about the position we're in, which it's all it's all you can ask for at this point. This has been good. Just to see the multiple win cons and to be yeah. able to save Blaziken until, until this point, and there not be a, a point of just oh well, we've got to throw it out now. Mm. I, that's an interesting switch, but to be able to save it until this point, have it come in here at full health it can just cause chaos rampardos has done its thing already and we're beyond <laughs> thrilled that did a butt ton of damage <laughs> just feels good things have just the plan has been executed which is wonderful coming off of last week to be able to have a battle long enough for a plan to be executed mm. great oh we kill and we absolutely kill which is fantastic i assumed off of just the eye test would be able to kill but running the calc no worry about that. Uh, that's that's fantastic. I assume this is a... Well, no, it has to be a more offensive Mudsdale with how much damage that did. So that... Beautiful in all ways. I mean... I, hey, as you said, Ben really talked up Blaziken. And this is where Blaziken goes crazy. Picking up kill after kill after kill. I'm not sure what the opponent has to stop Blaziken from revenging almost every Pokemon on their team. And that's going to be the really interesting thing here. As I, I don't, yeah, I don't know. I mean, Bubby's not going to be choice scarfed. I don't, well, can we kill Cyclozar here? We saw that earlier because it had, it switched from the double edge to the U-turn. So we know that the scarf isn't on old Bubby. Wait, um, don't, I, don't we kill? I think this is a, this would be a dead old Bubby? No. And I, we might not outspeed. 
Like, we straight up may not outspeed. I'm not entirely sure. Well, actually, I, I don't there, know. There, I, is a, there is a chance that it would not I'm have outsped very, there. It, yeah, I, 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 I mean, it, what he made was the safe play. I'd be interested there. It's... It is interesting to see the Bubby come in. Our choice Garver can owe Coets. I, I assume, hey, our coach has been absolutely nailing the plays. So I'd well, see, you the, look it, at with that. With those defense and, and the drops that it's had, oh, more than any you, hit could take it out. You make the safe play here, and now we're able to just go for a Thunder Wave if we want, make a bold switch, or we got the Bolt Beam cover to do some damage. Hey, there, there is no, when you, you talked about me playing in the past, I'm making the safe play 100 times out of 100 there. I'm going into Porygon 2 every single time. As I sit in the booth, I, nothing I could do wrong except not know what like, uh, you know, some of these moves do. It is so easy for me to run a calc and be like, hey dude, click the button. <laughs> you switch into the duck every single time. Because I, this is a Pokemon that's gonna be really difficult for the opponent to, to kill. I mean, there is still Flamigo, so there is still a chance to get a, a big close combat off. But, I mean, outside of that, I mean, well, I mean, there's also a very slow Cobalion as well. But I, I'm feeling pretty good about Quack Quack over here. And that has to be the switch. And give Pen mm -hmm. credit again, makes the right play. Knowing yep. this almost 100% had to be the switch, we got a crit! Oh, this battle is everything we've ever wanted! We got it, a crit! Hey man, you know, I I'm I'm not I'm not wearing this again, so if it, if this is the lucky outfit, I mean it's it, we might be cooked, but <laughs> just phenomenal. I'm not stuff saying here. I'm not saying if and when this team makes the championship. Oh god. It's gonna have to come back. I'm, I didn't say it. You, if you if you want to comment and say that, we oh, certainly boy. would welcome ah, it. I, but I'm not going to be the one to say it. Not this guy. No, 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 no. Not this guy. What? And this is the really nice thing about the team that we drafted. Obviously, we didn't see it last week, but it, oh, just it just frogs kiss. Uh, I, this is a team where we can really go on the offensive and then kind of retreat back, play a safer game. There's nothing the opponent can do about it. Not much you can do against Porygon 2. What what are they doing against Superior? Now with that pretty, you know, lucky para, we could go for the Leaf Storm win play. We could also go for the substitute play. We could go for the Leaf Seed play. Obviously, it's the Leaf Storm win play. And now Tyler. Wait, do wait, do we win? <laughs> no, not with Pyroar, not with Pyroar. Not with as Pyroar. fun as it would be. Yeah. yeah. There, there was always a situation at some point where we could do the win play with Superior, but getting rid of Kobali on there, it just makes the absolute most sense. It would have been nice to be behind a, a substitute against this, but then of course, Hyper Voice can go, you know, behind that. There's a few shenanigans. It worked out. Can't be upset with that. I am still a little bit nervous about the Lion. And I do wonder, is it worth going for Glare just to neutralize this? Almost guarantee the win, but probably lose the snake in the process? What do you think? I would say so, because your your main mm. threat now in terms of what you need to take out is this Pyro. Everything else is... Well, we know Flamigo is one hit. Yep. Good to go. Cyclozar maybe can be, be a bit annoying, but I, I don't think you're worried about that costing you the game with as much health the rest of the team has. I understand oh the thought gosh. process here. Of just Crit! Like, okay. You know what? Great play, Ben! <laughs> You know what? I was wow. gonna say I get it, but I was with you on the glare. But no, that was the that was the right play. Perfect, great, great, good play. Love it. Well, and at this point, right? I mean, Ben. We already know that Ben. He put in a big slip on Blaziken winning MVP. Was that just setting up three more kills for Blaziken? I mean, it kind of <laughs> looks that way. Yeah, I mean, like, uh, come on. I, I <laughs> At least he's not betting against his own guys. That is good, right? That is good. Yes, I mean, yeah, there's been no John Tate no Porter John Tate Porter on this staff, all right? <laughs> <laughs> Clean. I, and and th this is now a guaranteed kill. Um, I There's no... There's, well, it goes back to the question that I had earlier, and now I have to be confronted by my previous demons of can <laughs> cycles are outspeed the Blaziken here. But I don't, I don't think it, 
Can it? Blaziken with the Choice Scarf, it's base speed. If you were to just go by the base, it would be at 120. Cyclozar is at 121. So depending mm. on it, if it's got max speed investment or even a decent amount of speed investment, it's going to outspeed because we don't have full investment in speed on our side. Yeah. Yeah, I... I'm a little, I'm a little removed from the old competitive days of trying to run these numbers while I'm. To be fair, Blaziken should be faster than it is. I mean, the original art for that thing, it was a jet. It was a laddie. I, I'm well, and it, say it's also one of those interesting things in draft, right? When you, when you choice, well, in any competitive book, when you choice card something, you're expecting to outspeed everything that is not also choice card and faster than you. That's the beauty of a Pokemon like Bubby. To have that elite speed in low tier is just phenomenal. And this this is where we see. This is what I need. Thank you, Ben. You you knew that I'd be sitting here struggling. You knew that I'd be here uh, clutching my Bubby, a little bit worried of what Bubby was about to see. Actually, Bubby's not going to watch this for for a few different reasons. And we're really we're really going to see a few things here. Uh, the opponent terrified of what's about to, Shaking to come their, their way. Oh, all right, Lo yeah. lovely, perfect. Woo! This guy validated. Yeah, Woo! I was I was very confused early. Ben made the correct safe play early in the game. Not a bad play in the slightest. You do that, uh, but did click click the old pow 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 button? He, I mean, I. I don't want I, I don't want a pocket watch here, but I mean he he had to put a lot of money on Blaziken, man. I mean it just so much money on this put thing winning. All of MVP. it on him. If this is how every battle's gonna go, all of it. But it doesn't matter because we got the huge win, and this is just something we needed. I. I don't even, like, we didn't need this for confidence. We are confident in the team. We're confident in the coach. Last week, that stuff, it just happens. But it's it's nice to be reminder, have it just be, you know, really forcibly shown that last week, not a fluke, but a bad matchup. Yeah. Really good prep. That happens. If it didn't happen, Draft League would be really boring for every team except for play more because we'd go undefeated and just win every time. You know, it's going to happen. And hey, this is a, I would say a statement win after a loss like that. Phenomenal, phenomenal battle. <sighs> Tyler, I love this sport. I just love it. I love having Bubby supremacy mm. once mm. more. Two Bubbies come to the table. Only one survives. But there wasn't, there wasn't a focus punch in there. An absolutely oh. phenomenal battle, Mr. Ben. I only have one question. Why didn't you go for close combat against Bubby the first time? You tricked me. Maybe you tricked the opponent as well. The safe play worked out. It wasn't a negative play in the slightest, but felt pretty free. <laughs> I'm just dying to know. Yeah, so when it came down to Blaziken versus Cyclozar the first time around, I forgot <laughs> that it wasn't Choice Scarf and I played as safe as possible, but then once I saw once again that it changed from Double Edge to U-Turn, I'm like, cool, got it. It makes sense for Cyclozar not to be Choice Scarf, but um, especially since I knew he was Silk Scarf. He was one Scarf, just not Choice Scarf. He was Silk Scarf, um, which is why Double Edge did so much damage. But I did know that Pyroar uh, did not die to close combat yet. I needed some chip on Pyroar. Um, so I just thought it'd be best to just switch out because even if I killed Cyclozar, then Pyro comes out and then I'm in a worse situation because that thing with Terrifier was pretty annoying into my team, especially with Porygon 2 chipped down at that point um, and as well as uh, Altaria being gone. So I think it kind of worked out for the best for me playing like that um, to where in the end, once I was able to get that Leaf Storm chip off on... Um, Pyroar, which I, the crits really didn't matter at the end of the day. They were just funny. Um, <laughs> along with the paras, but it worked out playing safe and it was all good. But yeah, I definitely just forgot. Sometimes it's annoying when, you know, I can't just see what I already know. You get used to playing on Showdown a little too much sometimes. Keeping it with Blaziken, I, I'm not going to say that one of the two owners of this team implied that you might have had some money on the over-under for kills for Blaziken in this match. But yeah, hyped this guy up coming into the season, said that it should be a contender for MVP. Did you expect this kind of performance from it coming into this battle? And should we expect 
to see more of the same moving forward the rest of the season. Man, Blaziken is my guy. I talk a lot about Pokemon that I've used in low tier and love. Blaziken, Superior, Frostlass, and Altaria. There's a reason I drafted these, or at least picked up Altaria in free agency. It's because I've used them at least twice in low tier format before. Um, they're just amazing. And Blaziken has always been like a top performing Pokemon for me when I've used it. Um, and I think that's going to be no difference here in this league. I mean, we saw four kills this week. Some might argue it could have been five. I'm going to say four is good enough for me. <laughs> so where um, I'm still very happy with what I did to it, KOing Mudsdale was awesome. Just showing the true raw power of Blazing in there is huge. Once again, the fact it was tier four just blows my mind, and I'm going to make sure that they regret that for sure. Um, and if they overprep for Blaziken, hey man, that just gives Bubby more opportunities to head smash. <laughs>